Kiko, can you hear us? Yep. All right, folks, got linebacker Kiko Malignoa here. If you have questions, please use the hand raise function. That was Adam Lichtenstein from the Sun Sentinel. Adam? Hey, Kiko. Uh, I remember after, when we talked to you on Friday night, you know, you were like saying that, yeah, we played really good, but, you know, there were things we can probably do better. Um, yeah. After watching film and stuff, I guess what were some of the things that you guys identified on defense that you want to do better this week? I mean, there's always room for improvement. And, you know, on a film, you can really see, like, um, where we had our weaknesses at. And we just kind of – one of the weaknesses that uh, – one of the mistakes we've been – was just mental mistakes, uh, was just doing your assignment. Uh, I think one of the plays where – you know, I missed my gap, and it was just a minor mistake um, that everybody should uh, should know before entering the game. So it wasn't a lot, but, you know, we just got to keep striving and be perfect. But, yeah. Any more questions for Kiko? I'm sure someone has one. Go back to Adam. I'll keep going. Um, so, and after kind of similarly watching, you know, studying up a bit on a and uh, what are the, some of the biggest challenges that you've seen presented by their offense? Um, They have a really good offense. Uh, they got a really good quarterback who can throw and can run too. They got a really big offensive lineman. And they um, on the film, they look good. Um, we just got to be well prepared. You know, just, just everybody doing their business and – We'll be good. Um, I think Coach G got a good scheme for us, and all we got to do now is just execute and adjust. So that's how we're attacking it day by day. Go to Susan Miller Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan, hey Kiko, Hello. um, hey, what what was the conversation like between you and Francis after the game? You know, after you went home or whatever. Uh, what'd you guys talk about? What'd you tell him? What What did he tell you? That is first um, game. I just asked him how how he felt um, after the game, and you know he's been very mature, and I think he grew up really fast. You know, he just said, you know, it's just another game. So I'm proud that you know he's he's handling it like a mature man, and you know he's good. Uh, but yeah, we just keep get uh, getting ourselves better. Um, told him on a few few mistakes he had that I kind of picked out and to get better at. So, yeah, that was basically our conversation after the game. Okay, thank you. Also, how do you feel about the uh, rotation at linebacker? A lot of guys are playing, and mm -hmm. how does that help? Oh, uh, there's a lot of competition going on in, uh, in our room, and I think it's a good scheme, um, you know, get fresh people out there, you know, so we can run full speed every time, you know. Um, it's a good way to, you know, get people off of their feet for a little bit, and – I think it's just a good competition. I'm I'm just excited um, to play and you know play with my brothers. Well, one more thing, the fans. Um, I know uh, I'm sure you guys want to fill the stadium up. How how nice is that for you? I know you've said you're focused on the game, but mm -hmm. do you notice the fans at all? Does it help when they fill it up? Yeah, I mean, fans were. It was an excited. No, uh, I was excited to get into that stadium and play. Uh, the fans did a great job. Uh, you know, making noise. It was just an amazing atmosphere to play in. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll go back to Adam for the last question. Hey, again, uh, number three for me. But, um, you know, one of the guys who really stood out on Friday was Mark Fletcher, uh, you know, running running over people, running around people. Yeah. Um, what have you seen from him in practice, and, and how nice is it to see him, you know, be able to do that against another team now? It wasn't a shocking moment, you know. He, we see it in practice. He He runs the ball really hard. Um, he's just aggressive and like he doesn't phase away from from tackles. He will make somebody miss, and he does that in practice. So I'm not surprised that you know he had a touchdown and and ran ran a couple yards. And you know it was just you know how he is. He got a lot of expectations and he felt he felt his you know, on those shoes. So yeah. All right, Kiko. Thank you very much for your time.